I am Dr. Apurva Ghosh, Director, Institute of Child Health, Calcutta. Cervical cancer is one of the most common cancer in women. It's the second most common killer in women, and India shares a large part of this cancer death. So it's very important that. We have uh, knowledge about cervical cancer because many uh, people doesn't have any knowledge about cervical cancer. So the vaccine is the most important prevention of the cervical cancer, and uh, this not only reduces the cervical cancer but this also reduces the vulval cancer, anogenital cancer, penile cancer. Uh, so these are the ones which can be prevented by the cervical cancer vaccine. So that's important. But at the same time, we should also remember that that's not all. There are secondary prevention. Then we need to screen every woman after the age of 25 years. So like any other vaccine, this is um, develops an immunity against the virus, which is human papilloma virus. And they are said to be that you need to have an infection with H, uh, HPV or human papilloma virus. And if you can prevent that infection, then you can prevent cervical cancer. See, <coughs> we the doctors know that it's a very effective vaccine. But unless and until the general people has the knowledge of the disease, and of the vaccine, the uptake will be much low. So awareness about the cervical cancer, awareness about the cause of this cervical cancer, that is HPV or human papilloma virus, needs to be uh, developed. But many governments are uh, taking initiative in preventing this like Punjab, Sikkim, they have started uh, the uh, immunizations in children to prevent the cervical cancer. As I said that the uh, orientation, but people's orientation is more important. Many of the vaccine, uh, the parents come and say, I want to give this vaccine, but uh, unless and until uh, the parents are also aware, the uptake will be low. We can recommend the vaccine to the parents, but it's up to the parents that whether they will take this vaccine or not. And second important thing is, uh, you know, uh, the taboo uh, that we have, that this is a vaccine for sex, which is wrong. and. Uh, Many of the parents are not very clear about that. Why this vaccine? How does it uh, go into your body, colonize into your body? And it needs a discussion, one is to one discussion with the parents that it's not the sex only which will cause this uh, colonization. So a lot of factors are important in this one. I think uh, physicians has got an important role. But as a physician, I can recommend that these vaccines need to be taken. Parents are already uh, taking a lot of vaccines. Uh, so uh, sometimes parents feel whose interest it is. Is it uh, the patient's interest or is it the doctor's interest? So what is more important is the awareness about the, uh, this vaccine amongst the patients and the parents. So they, there, the media has a very important role, very important role, because honestly speaking, uh, even many doctors doesn't know that uh, how the cervical cancer takes place, what is the etiopathology of cervical cancer. So many doctors even not very aware, leave aside the parents. So the parents should know that this vaccine can be given any time after nine years of age 
and before the sexual contact. But the earlier you give the vaccine, the uptake is better. So this vaccine is usually given during the adolescent period. So earlier uh, you give, better is the result. The guidelines definitely help the doctors. But again, I say that the awareness by the parents is very, very important. We can recommend, but ultimately the parents will have to take the vaccine. Ultimately the parents will have to take the vaccine. So that's very important. The awareness about this cervical cancer disease is lacking in our community.